When is a time that you felt truly welcomed? Maybe it was at um, a special dinner and you could see the table was all set beautifully with a place for everyone. Maybe it's a time when there was a place card with your name on it and you felt really welcomed. Maybe it's someone that had been waiting for you to come and visit and you get there and you're greeted with so many hugs and, and saying, we're so glad you're here. In the community that I lived um, in in Canada for nine years was a constant pla a place of constant welcome. Many of us would uh, that come to live there like myself, an assistant living with people with disabilities would come and stay uh, sometimes just for a few months and then leave and then someone else would come and sometimes they stay for a year or a few years um, and many stay for a lot of years but there's the constant um, influx of new people all the time. And then in addition to that, there are visitors and guests, family members of, of assistants that live in the homes, family members of the core members with disabilities, people that just come to, to see, wow, what is this place about? Oftentimes um, there's not uh, the ability to put up um, place, you know, the name placements because uh, people show up at the last minute and you just have to move, move the, plates down and set another place and the community is very good at doing that. And there is something about the feeling of really being welcomed that gives us peace. It gives us, helps us to feel loved and valued. In Romans, it says, welcome one another the way that Christ has welcomed you. I think this feeling of welcome is really um, something very spiritual. And if we think about what God does for us, God has welcomed us into this world in creating us. God has welcomed us into God's heart. And God doesn't just wait for us to come. God came to us in Jesus and continues to come to us through the Holy Spirit. So as you reflect on what it means for you to feel welcomed, I pray that you and I and all of us will extend that to others. Yes, in church, um, take that extra step to offer that kind of spiritual experience to someone that you don't know, to someone that's new, but we can offer it in the world in a hundred ways, Jesus tells us, just as you have done so um, to your brother or sister, you have done so to me. So let us remember all the ways that Christ welcomes us and let us go forth to welcome others, and as it says in Romans, welcome others as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God.